In this video, we're going to get a high level understanding of materialized views in ClickHouse. We have two types. The first is what the docs call materialized views, but which for this video, we'll think of as incremental materialized views. And the second is refreshable materialized views. They work slightly differently, but the goal is the same, to reduce the amount of data that ClickHouse has to consider at query time. Let's start with incremental materialized views. So we have our materialized view at the top, and then at the bottom, we have our source and destination tables. And then let's imagine that we create our materialized view, we give it a name, we say where the destination table is, so destination in this case, and then we define our query reading from the source table. Now, something to remember with incremental materialized views is that source doesn't refer to all the data in the source table. Instead, it refers to batches of incoming data being written to the source table. So as well as being written to the source table, the materialized view will be triggered by the arrival of a batch of rows. The materialized view will then run its query with source referring to just that batch of three rows in this case, and it'll write the result to the destination table. So this approach lets us apply data transformations to huge data sets without having to process the entire source data each time. It is possible to do joins with incremental materialized views, but the materialized view will only be triggered by incoming data on the left hand side of the join. Next, let's take a look at refreshable materialized views. These are more similar in behavior to what you see in a materialized view in Postgres or other relational database. So we have our materialized view, our source and destination tables. This time, the materialized view is more like a cron job that we schedule to run at specific times. We therefore need to make sure our query runs before the next time that the materialized view is triggered. This time, the materialized view runs against all the data in the source table, and then it writes it to a staging table. This means that people can continue to query the destination table while the materialized view is running. And then once the materialized view is finished, the staging table will be atomically swapped into place as our new destination table. Refreshable materialized views are commonly used to speed up complex queries. So having them join on one or more other tables is common. ClickHouse recently added an append mode to refreshable materialized views. In this mode, the result of the materialized view is appended to the destination table. So one use of this functionality is to capture snapshots of values at a point in time. If you wanna see more examples of incremental and refreshable materialized views in action, check out the two videos on your screen right now.